can see a slight breeze. The uh, flags at the top of the targets just blowing from the left to the right. So we'll keep an eye on that. But it looks like we're ready to welcome everybody out onto the field of play. Let's hand over to the stadium announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the archers. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez souhaiter la bienvenue aux athlètes. On target one, representing Namibia, Jacqueline Kutsia. And target two, representing Razan Gilbert from South Africa. And our judge for this morning for the compound women's bronze medal is Amira Mansour. Et le juge pour ce match sera Amira Mansour. So athletes and line judge out ready for this compound women's bronze medal match. It's Jacqueline Kutsia from Namibia going up against Roseanne Gilbert from South Africa. Gilbert ranked second after the 72 arrows shot uh, a couple of days ago. Kutsia ranked fourth. Shooting on a 50 meter range, and it's all about accumulative scores. 15 arrows, and we're about to get underway. Two left-handers in this first match, Karen. Not unknown, not unheard of, but not usual. Eight. Nine gin line. So just one point in it after the first end. But uh, the second arrow, uh, the stadium announcer suggesting perhaps it's uh, a 10. So that would put them level, Chris. Uh, I don't think that'll be upgraded, but uh, nervy, but, but, but solid start from these two compound archers. As we said, there hasn't been um, an African championships uh, in the continent for, for six years. There hasn't been televised archery uh, in the continent before. It's, it's the first time um, these archers will be shooting in front of cameras and, and they've got their teammates supporting in the stands there at Tuck Stadium. Um, not easy, not easy for a, for a, a first time appearance, uh, especially after such a long time. Yeah, pressure mounting. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, tricky times across the world in terms of uh, international sports competition, as it has been for everyone uh, inside and outside of sport. But uh, the first time having cameras pointed at you, that does make a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Nerves. Nerves will play a factor in this one for sure as we, as we see the day progress. It's a great shot, actually, of the judge. Um, on the line. The judges this week are wearing pink shirts because uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Week has just finished, a uh, month has just finished in South Africa. Uh, Judge Commission there deciding to um, promote the breast cancer awareness for this event. And there we get a good shot of uh, Amira Mansur. 
good example of sport being used to promote good causes. After the first stand, on the score of 28, is Razan Gilbert from South Africa and closely followed by Jack Berlin Kutsia on 27 points from Namibia. So there we have it, confirmation that uh, Gilbert is leading by one. The scores build throughout uh, the five ends, a total maximum of 150. So uh, Kutsia not out of this, just a single point in it as we go into end number two, and it will be the Namibian who will start things off. bit of a longer hold here but uh, paid off Nine. it's a chance here for Gilbert to build on her lead Maximizes that as well, and she's very happy about that. Turns a one point lead into three, and uh, nothing looked like it was uh, up for a measure there. Uh, that's a, a great uh, capitalization of an opportunity there from Roseanne Gilbert. And this is the biggest match that she's been in in our database. We have a couple of African championships for her back in 08 09. Now 36 years old, shooting at her, her first African Championships continental level. Let's see, getting some relaxing words in with the coach in the break there. Clearly some nerves on the Namibian side too. And with the, the spread of uh, archery across the world, Chris, um, what is the standard like in Africa and, uh, and what is the participation in archery like? Well, you know, I, I wouldn't. I think it's fair to say that that in Africa, the the, the people at the top of, of the Continental Federation are, aren't where they'd like to be in African archery. But it, but it's certainly making strides, and I think South Africa have done a wonderful job uh, this week, particularly of putting on African Championships, setting a baseline for where this event could go in the future. And the participation here has been has been good in terms of countries, uh, 16 countries uh, travelling down to Victoria for the event. Um, it, it's and progress for sure, and, and there's there's plenty the more progress to come. Gilbert leading by two points over our Namibian archer. We head into end number three, and Jacqueline could see her on your left in the colourful uniform. Three behind will shoot first in this third end. Third ten in a row for Gilbert. Hey. Nine. 
and Jane Lionel. So provisional nine, uh, 81 there for uh, Katsia. Oh, that's gone high into the 7 for an 82. Now, this uh, measure, perhaps a little bit more interesting than the one we had in the uh, first end, Chris. That looked uh, like it might well be cutting the line, that third arrow from Kutsia. Well, it really looked, despite the despite the line cutter, that Roseanne was, was running away with this. But that, that 7 in the, the last shot um, changes the dynamic of this match. Should that arrow be measured and called up, then... We're going into a tie for the fourth end, and that, that's very different from a four-point advantage. Sounds obvious to say, but from a from a commanding position, both will be watching on intently to see what the judge decides. And those two last arrows, uh, uh, sorry, the, the uh, middle arrow from Kutsir and the last arrow from Gilbert, indications perhaps there's a li I mean, I know the wind is very steady, but perhaps it's a tiny bit blustery there. Actually, we spoke to Cookie Anwar, who's the defending African champion in the Rika women's uh, category yesterday, and she spoke about the winds here as well, saying it was challenging. You know, it, it looks quite still, but the, the way stadiums work, the way the wind hits off big structures like stands, it can swirl it, it can cause problems. And, and that kind of bowl structure that we've got there um, could cause all kinds of things, especially at the target end where the archers can't really feel the wind. And the only indication they've got is those those small flags above the target. It's it's not enough to get a full picture, and, and they really will be having to interpret all kinds of signs um, and the the impacts of their arrows to to, to try to get um, a picture um, of, of what the breeze is doing. We wait for confirmation on the scores. It looks like it has stayed at 81 for Katsia. So that is the case. Gilbert goes into the fourth with a single point lead. South Africa and 81 for Namibia. There you go, confirmation from the stadium announcer that it is indeed a one point lead still for the South African, but a nervy moment in that third end. Jacqueline Katsia getting ready to start the fourth. Remember, a bronze medal up for grabs here in this compound women's category. Seven. Let's drop low into the sevens. Ten. Most archery matches, no matter which competition, which level, they come down to pivotal arrows. And, and that really was an opportunity for Kutsi to put pressure on Gilbert. And an eight won't, won't oh. cut it uh, as pressure enough, I think. Nineteen line up. Drifted that one out to the right there. You can see there's a few stray arrows from the South African. Might well have cut the line for an eight. We'll put her on 109, but provisionally it's a 108 for the South African. So perhaps those nerves you were talking about, Chris, have uh, really started to come to the fore. Well, we talked about wind at the end of the last end, and on that last shot from uh, Roseanne Gilbert, you could see her um, uh, the, 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 the arm of her of her t-shirt on her on her on her bow arm was really kind of uh, blown up. You know, the wind was coming into it from the front, and uh, that's a really challenging wind to deal with when it's coming head on because 
you know, it, it's something you, you're pushing against to aim. It, it can it can accentuate any kind of shakes, any kind of nerves you've got. And, and if you've got a bit of wind in your eyes, you know, this is a precision sport. They're looking downrange 50 meters through a um, through a magnified sight. Anything that's going to dry your eyes out, hurt your aim, make it a little more challenging for you to, um, you know, settle on, on, on that spot on the middle. It's going to make it tough. Um, tight one doesn't look like it would be at times but this is a tight one now you can see the uh, pressure on the face of Roseanne Gilbert Trying to stay relaxed, using the brake to just to take a mind off things. So three-point lead for the South African. Ms. Razan Gilbert has a three-lead over Ms. Jacqueline Kutsia, and we are about to go into the final end of this match. Well, normally a three-point lead. Is a commanding one, but we've seen a few stray arrows in this bronze medal match. Can Jacqueline Kutsia from Namibia put the pressure on? She'll shoot first in the fifth and final end. Hey. Creeping less wind this time ahead. around, and that's been the, the story of each of these uh, opening arrows of the of, e of each end. A, a wide one from Coatsy and, and Gilbert is doing a little bit better. Good arrow here, and the pressure's off a little bit for Roseanne Gilbert. Another nine, good grouping as well. And three eights to finish off. Eight. And a Nate has done it more than enough in the end. A confident finish from Gilbert, uh, but that doesn't tell the whole story. But uh, the home nations, Roseanne Gilbert takes bronze in the compound women's African championships of 2022.